time for some additions and upgrades to the Dansko 7070 type album. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. So now that I've put a few videos together on the 77 Dansko typeset album, I've gone through the cents, the nickels, the dimes, quarters, half dollars, commemorative half dollars, and then the dollars. These videos now will probably have random stuff, whether they be upgrades, I'll have a few different denominations as I start to plug in some more of these holes in here. So I got a half dime, my first half dime, winning. Uh, it's a Seated Liberty, 1857. And then I got a three cent nickel. And that one is 1865. This one would be an upgrade. I think I have an 1891 S in there. This one is an 1876 CC. So I don't have very many CC coins, so it'll be nice. As some might be aware, this is the one where I bought it from a friend's collection. And a better barber. Just an upgrade here. It's a 1914D. That's in pretty good shape, really. And then, of course, being Silver Steeler, whenever it does say clad in there, I'm going to put a blue Ike in the spot where it says for Eisenhower, just because it's 40% silver. And why not, right? It's, it's got more value to it. Right. It's a 1971S blue Ike. So let's bust some of these out and get them underneath the scope. And here we are with my first half dime in 1857 Philly. A little worn, but definitely a readable date, and it is my first half dime. What do you think of it, Wayne? A little worn, but it's nice. It's nice. Let's see. You the can tell what it is. Uh, let's see the reverse on it. Yeah, I mean, not bad for 1857. It'll be a nice hole filler, that's for sure. All right, take that one off there. Let's take a look at this three cent nickel. I do have the silver one in there, so this will be its counterpart in the book. Well, that's not bad at all. That one's got some detail left in it. I like it. Yeah, 1865. Let's check out the reverse. Yeah, that's, that's in really good condition. I like that one a lot. All right. Let's take a look at this. What is this? 1876 CC Seated Liberty. Yeah. I mean, it's a little gritty. I like it, though. <laughs> it's mean, a CC, and you can still read Liberty across the shield. Yes. Yes, so. you can. Let's take a look at that CC on the reverse. Yeah, definitely a legible CC. I mean, it's in decent shape. I mean, I know they made, what, 14, 15 million of these, and unlike Morgan's, a lot of these haven't been melted down, but being smaller, you know, they still become lost, and they some still have a lot of wear and tear on them. So it's a decent example, and I like it that it's a CC. Let's take that one off, and let's take a look at our barber, or Liberty Head. What's the date on that one? I forget that one again. 1914. 1914. Uh, there's some excellent detail in there. The wreath around the head is very, I mean, noticeable. Mm -hmm. And you can read pretty much Liberty on the top there. I like the reeded edges around the side of the, on the top of the coin as well. They're very defined. The, the one that we're replacing, you can, can't even see that. I believe yeah, it's a D, right? So let's take a look at the reverse. Well, there's the D, and I excellent detail on that side, too. Yeah, you see the shafts of wheat. Yeah. I like it. All right, let's get them into the album. And, of course, we don't really need to get this one underneath the scope, but I did free the man from his little plastic prison. 
And now he'll be behind another plastic prison. Yep. But it's a 40% silver one. So let's get him in the book. Okay, we got him into the book. And there was an addition on this page. Got the three cent nickel piece. Very nice. I do have the silver one, but the back is blasted on it pretty bad. It's hard to see. And then on this page, one addition and two upgrades. There's my half time. That's the addition. My first half time. And we upgraded the Seated Liberty with a CC and a Liberty Head which is in much better condition than the other barber that I had had in there. Nothing done to this page. And I put the 40% silver blue Ike in the Eisenhower spot. And I've just got the three hardest <laughs> <laughs> ones to still put in there. Those are going to be the costly ones, but that trade dollar. Oh. Gonna do it. Gonna do it. Gonna get it in there. So there you go, everyone. Until the next seventy seventy dance go album. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.